we're given that T equals the number of years since 2011 and P is population in billions. If we have the function P of T, 1.34 times 1.004 to the T power, find P of 4 and P prime of 4. And then what do they mean? Well, P of 4 is what you've already learned how to do in algebra. So you just simply take your function that you're given and where you see t, you plug in 4. And when you do that, you should get 1.362. And this is in billions, so billions of people. Okay, so in other words, that would be the population. So I could go ahead and interpret this. That would be the population. I'm putting a 4. So in 2015, in 2015, the population would be 1.362. All right, now what's this whole deal with this diddly, diddly, diddly thing here, right? Can you not see it? There we go, that little diddly, that prime. Well, if you remember that we said that means the derivative. So the derivative means that we're using this formula and I'll use the same uh, notation, but typically it's f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Well, let's just use the variables that we have. So it's p of t plus h minus p of t all over h. Well, I know what t is. This is my t, which is 4, but the problem is, is I don't know what to plug in for h. Well, until we learn how to actually, um, we're going to have some shortcuts and how to do something with this, I just pick something really, really small. So I'm going to plug in 4 for t, everywhere you see a t. I'm going to plug in a 4. And where you see an H, I don't know, I'll plug in a 0 0.001. All I'm trying to do is plug in a value very small, the smaller the better, um, because I want to get at exactly 4. So if I do that, going back to my formula, 1.34 times 1.004, Notice this is going to be raised to the 4 plus 0 0.001, so 4.001. And then minus, I'm going to plug in 4. Well, I just did that up there, right? So I get the 1.362. Well, let's just go ahead to be complete. Oops. And write it out. So 1.34, 1 1.004, and this one gets raised to the fourth power kind of getting off the screen there, but to the fourth power, and then all over 0 0.001. Now, you need to be careful when you put this in your calculator, because if you dump decimals, the top you'll get zero. So keep all the decimals you can, and if you do, you should get something like 0 0.00542. They said that this was in billions, so if I multiply this by a billion, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, I will actually get five million. And it says this question to round to the nearest integer, so I get five million. But, but the key is five million what? Well, this is a rate. We can kind of go back and look here that what is my numerator. So my numerator is my function, my population in billions. My denominator is time, okay, so years. So in other words, in 2015, where am I getting 2015 from? Well, if I take 4 plus 2011, so that's my 2015, in 2015, it looks like the population is growing. Why is it growing? Because it's a positive value. At about 5 million, because that's in millions, of people per year. So that's the key, that this was the billions of people, okay, the number of people. 
this is a rate at how fast it's growing at this rate per year. So the difference between the value of the function versus the derivative, which is a rate. All right, and that's it. Thank <laughs> you.